hundred percent, but it's definitely a team effort. I mean, when we're struggling, the offense is going to pick us up. I mean, look at Green Bay for a good, you know, 30 points is hard to do in the NFL. And there's been games we've both been leading on each other, so it was, it was a good team effort today. In the locker room, was there any extra emphasis on it being a division than your first division game? Yes and no. I mean, everyone's down the side knows that it's a divisional game, but at the end of the day, if we lose every other game, but win this game, how important was this game, you know? So it's just a stepping stone in the right direction for this organization. Those last final seconds, field goal, the kick is up. What are you thinking? What are you seeing? I thought it was good. From my angle, the field goal looked good, but, you know, looked it at the last second and won. Nice to be wrong, huh? Exactly, right? <laughs> Thanks, Jonathan. What, what is the picture you feel about Mary, Jonathan, Matthew, what are you going to do up front that kind of sucks? Control the line of scrimmage. Whenever you're going against a good bat like Ezekiel Elliott, it's all... It's always about controlling the line of scrimmage, and I feel like we did that today. Hey, Jonathan, the other thing is that you all took away their strength, which was their running game. I mean, yeah, it goes back to t the dominating the line of scrimmage. If you can make a team one-dimensional, um, it helps out a lot, you know, and more credit to Dak. I mean, being able to make a lot of big plays with his legs, that's something we got to improve on, but it was a good defense effort for us today. How, how, nice was it, how nice was it to see Ryan Kerrigan kind of finally break through and get a couple oh, of sacks? Like, it's, it's, all, it's only a matter of time. You can't hold a guy like Ryan Kerrigan for the whole season. It's only a matter of time. Did you have any conversations with him to kind of – he said he had some pretty low moments early in the season when, when the numbers weren't coming, did – Consistent, man. Consistent. Just continue to do your job. Something my D-line coach in college always told me. Jared Allen, the year he had 21 sacks, the first four games had nothing. And the thing that he always said is just continue to do your job and they'll come. Wave, the sacks come in waves and you see that tonight. They, uh, before you were here, that Dallas already had a Before knowing Payne was, uh, Barkley was going to New York, you guys drafted Payne. Fair to say that on some level, they brought you guys in here to stop the, the guy today and then the guy next week? 100%. Uh, we feel like we're playing the most physical conference in the league, and if you can't stop them run and run the ball, you're not going to have success in this conference. came down again to this defense having to stop the opponent's offense. How good to that, does that feel for the defense once again to come through keeping that opponent out of that end zone? It feels good. It feels really good, and we're building in the right direction. We've got to continue to not be satisfied with what we've done already. Just to be clear, that was your D-line coach at Alabama that talk, told you about Jared? Mm -hmm. okay. Coach Dunbar. Coach Dunbar. D-line coach, Dunbar. D -line coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers right now. Oh, okay. He told me that my senior year, and I always, always look back on to it just... It's never, it's never as good as you think, and it's never as bad as you think.